Oh my god, thank god you're here. There's been a fashion. Ah, there's been a culinary emergency. I almost said fashion, but the fashion emergency has been cinched and solved, baby. It's a good looking apron for you. Thank you. Sam won it in a cooking contest, right? I, I did. Know, I did yep. not win it, but I'm the only one that wears it because I'm Your head's out of the... It doesn't matter, it's about this part of me, actually. It's about... Okay, get in the kitchen. <laughs> ah. Welcome back to Pride Fit. It's been a long time since we did a vlog, and I thought, what better way to come back to vlogging than with my new favorite salad recipe? What are you doing with that? I don't know. How about I come to you? <laughs> wow. You should make that into a t-shirt. <laughs> So the interesting thing about this salad is that you can really fix it for any kind of meal. If we're having it for lunch, it's a little bit different than if we're having it for dinner. We're having it for dinner tonight, so you're getting the full chicken caboodle. We'll be having the veggies, we'll be having the carbs, we'll be having the protein. We'll be doing all of it because this is our main meal for today. So, our base. Thank you, Anna. We've got some baby spinach and baby arugula here, so... Oops. And we'll probably do a, little, a half and half of that. And that's gonna be our base for today. I like to do a gentleman size handful of each. Exactly. Okay. Secondly, we've got some sweet potatoes. We love sweet potatoes. We love adding something a little sweet to our salad. So that's gonna be number two. We're gonna grill them at, I think, we only have like three small sweet potatoes here, so we'll do all of them. We will cube them and put them in the oven at 400 with a little bit of avocado oil and Lowry seasoning salt. Mm, so good. Uh, and then you switch them at about 20 minutes. So they should take about 40 minutes to do. I was gonna show you the ingredients as we went with them, but Jared really wants to show all the ingredients first, so. I just want the people to be prepared. Yes. What I've created for us, this is the palm tree. <laughs> do you see how it's a palm tree? This is my new favorite addition to These are the salads. Well, I have to say what they are first. These are hearts of palm. That's a different heart of palm, and that's a different accent and a different heart of palm. We're trying a bunch of different hearts of palm. And, and accents, I apparently. I love <laughs> hearts of palm so uh, much. So we've been adding them to all of our salads now. Which one should we start with? Next! Uh, how do we know which one to use? Okay, after the heart of palm, we have some grape. No, I guess they're cherry tomatoes. What's it, the difference between a grape and a cherry tomato? I believe it's their size. They're called cherubs, so they're probably cherry tomatoes. Next, oh. Every meal should have something a little grape. And we've got two things that are kind of Greek in this Me one. Me so, and olives. Nope, not oh. you. Um, and so we've got a nice pitted five type mix of olive that uh, I, I put olives in every salad. They're so tasty and salty and delicious. Okay, this is like the real, the real meat and potatoes of what I wanted to get at today that's with- confusing. Yeah, I, I know. With, uh, with salad making. And this came from someone who my sister introduced me to, Jenny Rosenstrack, in her book, The Weekday Vegetarians. And basically she talks about how every salad should have a hook. And what this means is there should always be at least one thing in a salad that you're so excited for, just so that we can keep those salads something that we want to continue eating. If it's miserable for you to eat a salad every week because you don't like anything in it, you're not gonna keep on eating it, right? So focusing on that hook is going to be your absolute best friend. Uh, and this salad just happens to have like, they're all hooks for me. I love every single ingredient for this salad, but that's kind of my one biggest tip that I want you to be thinking about when you're making a salad for lunch. What is your one hook? Like for me, blue cheese is always a hook. I love blue cheese, so. If I could just interject briefly. Oh, okay. Another metaphor you could use okay. is if you were thinking about it as an album, you want it to be a no skips album, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we used to put English cucumbers in, and I, we both decided we hate cucumbers. You're still not in the frame. No, but they know I'm here. Um, a, a cucumber has to go, you know what I mean? So we don't use cucumbers anymore. No more. All right, back to where we were, where were we? Back to it. You know, cheese is not for everyone. We really like cheese. Um, high in protein, but also obviously if you have a dairy intolerance, don't put cheese in your salad. That's like the bottom line, right? There are different kinds of cheese for that. We have two, yeah, there are different, there are lactose-free cheeses for sure. We use two different cheeses in the salad. We put a little bit of crumbled feta, and we put a little bit of blue cheese, and we mix them together. It is delicious, delicious. This is just some chicken, or it was, so. And we're just gonna put the chicken in a frying pan, probably cube it, uh, and put some salt and pepper on it with some oil. Ooh, but lastly, I think that's everything for the ingredients, but 
Mm, yes, that's exactly what I was looking exactly for. Exactly, I read his mind too. So. so this is from my mom. And it's not really from my mom. I'm sure someone else made it, but this is my mom's dressing, and it's so delicious on like everything. So you start with olive oil. We've talked about this dressing before. I guess you don't start with the olive oil. No, sorry, don't no, no. start with the olive oil. Start, start with... with nope, not that either. What? Yeah, you start with the shallot. I know, I just like to with it. Um, you start with the shallot. Horrible way to die. I microplane a whole shallot. Can house. you like get down on my level? No, I think it's interesting because I could be seven feet tall. I could be the Elizabeth, the Becky of this household. Um, then you do a lemon. I squeeze a whole lemon. However much lemon juice this is, you want the same amount of olive oil. No, you want twice as much olive oil as lemon juice. It's interesting because I make it, so <laughs> when I'm decided that it's done, that's what I want. It should be about twice as much olive oil as lemon juice. And then you put a little bit of salt and pepper in. Yes. Yep, those are all the ingredients. Let's get cooking. Now, you may be wondering, where is the famous fur ball? And she's in her crate. We put her in her crate when we're cooking, but she may make a surprise appearance after we're done. It would not be a surprise if it was uh, announced. Well, it's... Hmm? You want one mystery guest, you know what I mean? One guest that could be a murderer. One guest that comes in to judge things up, comes in to spice it up a little bit. In every salad you want one surprise ingredient, and you thought it was pistachios, formerly known as pecans, but it's not. You know what it is this time? Blueberries. And you think that's a fruit salad, but what is a fruit salad but a salad? Um, this is our little mixture of cheese, so we're starting with some blue. Make sure we get great coverage on the blue. Oh yeah, that's, okay, oh, that's perfect. That's oh, good. Yeah, oh. yep, yep. Love cheese. Love cheese. Snack on that lighter. You know, I do just want to make sure that I didn't forget to say how much I love these chili roasted pistachios. They're spicy and crunchy. They're perfect for a salad. My sister showed them to me and I'm so obsessed. I don't think that I said this already. This is one of the hooks that I was talking about. These pistachios are a hook for me. The blue cheese is a hook for me. And the olives, and the hearts of palm, and the sweet potatoes, so. Wow. Maybe not all of them. That's enough. Oh, look who's out of her crate. Oh, look who's out. Oh, yeah. Who's the cutest girl? <laughs> yes. Hey, baby. Is it time for some dressing? It's time to dress it. There is no bowl without claws. Put your paws up. I've just whisked this. Yeah, it looks good. Oh. Okay, it's time to eat. Anything else we need for that? That's it, just some forks. Okay. Okay, I just have to say, this is the best salad I've ever had. Agree, disagree? Agree. It's very good. Oh, bad angle. Agree. Okay, we are so content with that lovely salad, and now we are gonna watch a show about kitchens. What is it called? For the love of kitchens. For the love of kitchens. And then go to bed. What did we learn tonight? We need a hook for our salads. And don't put things into your salads that you don't like. I mean, and why? Every salad should have a mystery, a surprise guest, just like a good party. You heard it here first. Okay, bye. Meryl, you wanna say bye? Bye. Mm. Mm. Not the face. Not the face. <laughs>